hi everyone welcome back in this new video tutorial today we are going to learn how to create a scrollable table inside excel worksheet as you see in the screen this is a scrollable table by using this scroll bar i can scroll down and scroll up the data the source of the data is given here in this sales data sheet here i have the whole data from the row number 5 to row number 29 double nine and the whole data is given here in the mini table that can be scrolled up and down now let's start with the process of doing this let me create a copy of this by move or copy move to end create a copy now here i will delete this table and also delete the scroll bar now i have the blank sheet here now copy the column header from the source data then paste it here if you want to display the data in 10 row here then select 11 row including the column header then apply the outside border to this by going here click on the thick outside border now select the cells beside the last column header till here then merge these cells by clicking on this merge and center now here also apply the thick border now to display the scroll bar here click on the developer tab click on insert and here you have a scroll bar option click on this scroll bar form control then draw the scroll bar here by holding your mouse this way now keep this scroll bar inside these merged cells this way now go to the source data sheet then check what is the row number of the last data the row number for last data is 2999 so note this number here that is 2999 then the another number you need to note is what is the row number where your column header is given the column headers are given on the row number 4 so we have to note down this number 4 here then the next number we need to know is how many data we are going to display here we are going to display 10 number of row in the scrollable table so here type that number that is 10 now we have to subtract these two numbers from this last row number so click on the last row number minus column header minus the number of row we want to keep in the small table that is 2985 so this number we have to put in the properties of the scroll bar so go to this sheet then right click on this scroll bar click on format control and here in the maximum value put that number that is 2985 now here in the cell link click on this cell just above this first column header here you can give any other cell but the cell should be blank now after setting up these two values here click on ok now click outside the scroll bar then if you scroll the bar down the number here starts to change now we have to use a formula here just below the date press is equal to type the offset function open bracket in the reference of the offset function click on your source data then click on the cell just below the first column header then give a comma for the row parameter again go to the sheet where you are creating the scrollable table then select this linked cell then lock the cell by pressing f4 key in the keyboard that applies the dollar symbol now give a comma in the column parameter type 0 comma and in the height and width parameter type 1 comma 1 then close the bracket press enter now drag this formula till your last column again click on the fill handle then drag this till the last row now change the formatting of this table by selecting then here 
click on all border select this then click on thick outside border for this also click on thick outside border and for the column headers you can give a background color this way then make it bold now the scrollable table is created if you scroll this down here you see the data is scrolling here you can make this number invisible by selecting the white font color now when you scroll it down you will see the last data when you scroll it up you will see the first data by clicking on this down arrow and the up arrow the data can be scrolled here let's convert this into date formatting by selecting this go to the format option and choose sort date now the scrollable table has created you can put this kind of table inside the dashboards to show the whole data in a small table so this is all about the process of creating scrollable table inside excel oxit and this much for today's video thank you very much for watching we will again meet on next video tutorial